boys today's the day where these get installed dude like lately it's been raining a lot in california i mean at least the last four days or so it is crazy look at that it's only gonna rain the next two days or so so california's freaking the fuck out and doesn't know what to do because it really rains yeah i'm not gonna be installing them myself i'm gonna be taking them to a shop where ollie's garage up here's the instagram really cool dude works on hondas i know it's not gonna be a lot but i got these tsx cams for really the good price they're 06 to 08 so that's the main reason why i got them and like full price they're, they're not worth it for like under 200 bucks for some good ones this right here and um 430 cc i can't remember and tss cams are in here i'm just excited to see how much more of these will make stock wise with stock everything else just to see i'm really curious and i'm excited i mean i guess i can talk about it in this video because i know a lot of you guys are asking how come i went with tsx cams why didn't i go with drag artel why didn't i guess uh gun 2 and all the other stuff honestly man this is the main reason why and it wasn't just because of price the main reason was because i don't know where i'm going to be going with this car and and that's my honest reason if i go na build these tsx cams can go a pretty long way for the k20 head i've seen people push up to i've seen i've seen people push up to 260 wheel na with these t6 cams yes they had upgraded internals upgraded uh valve train and the k24 block and everything else but they still had the TSX cams and I've seen people do it with like reliability and everything. Boost wise, these cams are good for super supercharging route or the turbo route. So I got the best of three worlds right now, right now man. So <laughs> that's the main reason why. I didn't want to go full drag cartel, the 2.2 drop in with upgraded valve train and everything. If I was going to go supercharge later, if I was going to go uh, turbo later. Um, yes, obviously there's some people rolling with that setup and are fine but me that's still new to the honda game yes i'm still new i'm still learning as much as a lot of other people are i want to be able to answer the question are tsx cams worth it yeah or no you know so that's pretty much why i got these used for about 180 shipped like with like 60 ish thousand miles that's not bad that's pretty good they're from a 2008 I wasn't gonna be a douche and wait like a whole other video on explaining why I got TSX cams versus everything else when I could just say it now. Cause I don't know, like, for example, I gotta smog my car this year and I'm gonna have to go to certain people to, uh, you know, and I don't know if I'm gonna end up keeping the car. Like, I'm almost done paying the car but let's just say if I get a really good deal on the new SI or fuck, even the new Type R, I'm probably going to jump on it, you know? But I'm not going to say I'm going to get rid of this car because if it's done, if I'm done paying it, I might keep it as a side. I, I don't know. Like, I really, really, really want to get an S2K once I'm done paying for this car so I can keep on daily in this car and drive the S2K on the side. I, that's what I really, really want to do. But plans might change the idea might change i don't know like my girl wants me to get a four-door so i'm considering the four-door si i don't know like i'm not having a family anytime soon but thinking about the future and all you know so a coupe could only make me make my life easier to a certain extent but i mean then again she's driving a coupe as well so <laughs> i ain't gonna give it up if she ain't <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, let's listen to a lot, a lot, again. Bro, how about Sir Savage the 21st? I'm just playing, dude, that's fucked up. Bro, he got deported. That's not a joke, but I can't believe that. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> No traction on wet floors. Not doing that again. <laughs> and that was third gear. Eh, fuck it. Can't wait. What? I don't know.
Ah. This is how I drive when I'm filming. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, dude, I'm excited. I'm excited. I just dropped off my car. Hell yeah, bro. I'm excited as fuck. For the millionth time, this is how it looks like. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Alright, guys. Well, car dropped off. Uh, I'll keep you guys posted on anything that goes on. And yeah. Alright, guys. First drive with the car, with the cams on. Still sounds normal, but this is the challenge right here. I'm trying to get out of this damn dip. Okay. Oh shit. Uh oh. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay. So far, it's normal, man. Sounds a little bit more aggressive, just chilling. I'll hit VTIC just a little bit when I get uh, get around the, the street. Just a small second gear. Sounded a lot better. Now I definitely need a tune. I definitely need that tune. Oh yeah, fourth gear pulls a lot better. I'm gonna take it easy though, cause I don't wanna, I'm not gonna say I'm gonna, I wanna risk it, but you know what I mean, like, I wanna hold off and see how the tune is. I wanna hold off and see how it is. VTEC did sound a lot better. <laughs> yeah, that sounds a lot better. That sounds a lot better. That sounds a lot better. <laughs> oh, damn. And it pulled a little bit better, too. All right, let's just get the fuck home. Let's pop the hood. All right, let's get a cold start. switching up the, the wheels though I don't know those are my old cams so that's my old car <laughs> my uh, sister-in-law drives that now down let's give it a little rev see how 
loud sounds when I just floor it. Nobody here? All right. Dude, not bad. Anyways, guys, uh, the cams are in. Uh, tomorrow's Wednesday. Tomorrow I go back to work. I'm going to see what day I have off next week. That way I can go ahead and do an appointment with the guy. I already got in touch with him and everything. Or he already knows my setup. Uh, the REX injectors are not in the car yet. I'm going to be installing those myself before I go get the tune. And then I'm just going to use a Honda to map from off the shelf that has the RDX injector tune in it or else my car would be running really fucky without it. So I wasn't gonna do that for a week right now. They're fine with the tune that I have. Uh, so, but I'm not gonna do it unless for sure, like if I have Monday off and I have a tune at two o'clock, I'm gonna wake my ass up at eight or nine, install the RDX injectors, download the map into the thing. It's gonna mess up my whole tune, but at least I have the right size injectors running for the car. And then I'm just gonna drive up to uh, the Inland Empire for it. So the car will be fine like that. I did that before plenty of time. I did that before when I had to get a tune, but not with, I'm just, guys, I don't know. I'm really jittery right now because that bang really fucked me. That bang really got me jittery. And also I'm just excited for everything to come with this car. Um, <clears throat> earlier in the video, when I meant, I don't know when I'm gonna, if I'm gonna stay with the car or not. What I meant is like, I don't know what route I wanna do. I'm obviously going to be keeping this car because I put way too much money into it. I will do a drive around video soon. I'm not expecting big numbers. I already know that. If you guys know me well, I'm not a guy that cares about numbers that much. I drive a Civic. If I wanted to drive something with big numbers, I drive something else. Not saying that you can't make these cars fast, but on a budget, you got to work with what you got. So you know what I'm trying to say. If you guys are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. We're almost to 10,000 subscribers. We just hit 8,000 the other day. I just wanna say thank you to everybody that's been following me on this. And I just can't wait and let's just keep on growing, all right? Anyways, guys, I will see you guys in another video. You guys have a good day. Stay classy. Peace.